Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be bringing you tons of cleaning motivation. I'm going to show you how I clean my cleaning rags. I'm going to be cleaning several different rooms in my home. I'm also going to be cleaning out my Dyson cordless vacuum. So definitely stay tuned for that. It was disgusting. Um, I'm also going to be sharing at the very end of the video my new crock pot and a delicious and super duper easy crock pot meal. So you're definitely going to want to stay tuned for that. This I know I won't leave Waking up in a bed With my head on the chest That I don't even know But I guess it makes sense Cause I know we both learned Everything that happened last night So just come back to bed I wanna hold you So the first thing I'm going to do here is I've kind of picked up filming from last week's video. So if you watched last week's video, it will make this make more sense. So definitely don't miss that. But I had gotten some new sheets and I had washed everything. My mattress protector was not dry, so I wasn't able to put that on, but it was dry. So I was taking off my clean sheets that I just put on the night before and I'm just putting on that mattress protector now that it is washed and dry. I'm normally pretty chatty in my cleaning videos, but today has some really good music. So I wanted to not do as much talking this time. So I'm going to sit back and kind of let you guys enjoy the music and kind of just watch along. I will come on here and talk a little bit if I feel like there's something that I want to share with you. But for the most part, I'm going to just let the music play. my cleaning rags I just toss them in all together and then I use my Persil laundry detergent you guys told me about this and it is my favorite laundry detergent I love the one with the purple label and I love the one with the deep clean scent boost in it as well but this detergent just cleans so much better than my gain did and it smells amazing so it is my favorite favorite laundry detergent and then I always use this Lysol laundry sanitizer see if I can talk right um, and then I have a setting on my washer that is sanitized so it runs the longest hottest cycle basically with like an extra rinse and then when I throw them in the dryer I also have a sanitized cycle and that's basically the longest hottest cycle so that's all I do that's how I do my cleaning rugs I do want to know, I have a question for you guys today. If you are new to my channel, you will learn very fast that I love cleaning products. I love trying new cleaning products. I have several favorite and I just, I love them. So I'm always using new things and I think that's fun. And you guys like when I share new stuff, but I'm asking you guys today, what is your favorite cleaning product? Maybe there's something I haven't tried. You think I'll like, let me know. Or if it's something you've seen me try, but it's your favorite, let me know. I'm really curious to know what is your favorite cleaning product? Like maybe if you could only have one, what would you choose? I 
normally clean with rags and a spray, but on this day, I just wanted to make it super easy. These wipes were already in her bathroom, so that's what I did. I just used these Clorox Centivia wipes in the grapefruit scent. They smell really nice, and it got the job done. So in her Scentsy warmer, it is nasty. I need to clean it and I have a hack for how to clean that that you guys told me about. I will tell you right now really quick, all you do is basically put some rubbing alcohol in there. Depending on how bad it is, you might want to let it soak and then you just wipe it clean. It makes it brand new again. I shared that in a couple of videos ago. Life changing. I need to clean this one too. But I have been putting some of these scent beads in the warmers and they make the house smell like fresh laundry. They The throw isn't as strong, but just for like a bedroom or a bathroom, it's perfect. So that's what I've been doing. to be the one you can trust I feel so useless cause I let you down I hope there's some way I can make it alright cause I know that you deserve much more than this if you give me one more chance I swear I'll try my best to always be there and I If you would like to follow me over on Instagram, it's just jessie.christine and I post on there almost every single day of the week and I post all kinds of stuff, cleaning related and non-cleaning related. I just share like shopping hauls, things I've bought. Sometimes I even share cooking over there. I've been doing a lot of that lately, like what I'm making for dinner um, and just chat with you guys and kind of connect with you on a more personal level, not so much cleaning. So if you are interested in that, I would love to have you over there. And also if you are new here to my channel, I would also love to have you subscribe. It's totally free. All you have to do is hit that red subscribe button, turn on your notifications so it will notify you when I upload. YouTube really has a problem with notifying people when I upload for some reason, but yeah, it's like I said, free and it's just a way for you to support me. Um, and that way you would hopefully the point is to get notified when I upload. I upload every week and I just moved to Mondays. I was posting on Wednesdays, but now I post on Monday morning.
So another question that I have for you guys, I think I asked this over on Instagram last week, but when do you decorate for Christmas or have you already decorated for Christmas? You probably noticed that pink pumpkin a few clips ago. I still have all my pumpkin stuff out. I normally, before my YouTube days, would decorate for Christmas on Thanksgiving. Like after the meal, we'd have a nap and then I would get all my stuff out. But here in the recent years with doing YouTube, I kind of was getting, trying to anyways, get ahead of the game and get it out early for you guys. But this year I'm just going to do it on my pace. So I'm going to be doing that. Um, I forget what date exactly I have that plan to go live, but it is going to go live at the very end of November. So that's when I'm going to be decorating, but let me know, have you already decorated or when do you decorate for Christmas? your name always leaving then you got me chasing you like i'm the one to blame So now I'm cleaning out my disgusting Dyson cordless vacuum. I love this vacuum. It is one of, if not my favorite cleaning item that I own. It gets used all the time. As you can see, it is disgusting. So what I did was I took everything apart. I did take the battery out of this part here. You have to unscrew it. I had to have my husband help me just because I'm impatient and he was right there. It was easier for him to do. But definitely, if you're going to follow along and do this as well, take the battery out or it will most likely ruin it. Um, but I just took everything apart like so. I'm kind of showing you how I did. And then I put it in the bathtub. And something that I really, really feel like everybody needs to have in their home is one of these hoses that I have here. I will link it. You can get it at Amazon. You can get it at Lowe's. They're really inexpensive. I think they're around $20. See, I'm showing you there that I did take that battery off. That's very, very, very important or you will ruin it. Um, so I just took everything apart like as much as it would come apart. And then I have that hose. Like I said, I'll link it for you. And I'm just using hot water, like the hottest that it could possibly be. And then I'm using my Dawn Power Wash. I sprayed all the parts down, kind of let them soak and I'm rinsing them out with that hot water. And not only is it hot water, but it has like that pressure behind it. So it's really getting into all of the little grooves and the cracks and the crevices. I saw somebody had messaged me and they, I had shown a clip of me doing this and she was so worried that I had put the water into the main component there. And rest assured, my vacuum works like a brand new. The key to this is number one, make sure you take that battery out, but number two, I had to let this dry. All of these parts had to dry for about three to four days. So be prepared for that. It does take a long time for it to dry if you're going to wash it this way. But this isn't something that I do on a regular basis. Probably should. But I don't, as you can tell. So I did have to let it dry for four days. And I did actually even end up putting a little bit of a 
heat on it. Like I put a heater in front of it and let that go because it takes forever to dry. But I wanted it to be 100% dry before I put that battery on and tried to run it because I didn't want to ruin it. But it works great. So if you want to do it, you can take my word for it that it did fine. I know it seems a little scary to put water in there, but I swear as long as you let it dry completely, it should be totally fine. But as you can see, I am putting that water through and putting it through and putting it through and dirt and gross, just like hair and debris just keeps coming out. So I can't imagine not ever cleaning it this way because I feel like it would just build up and build up and build up until it would most likely break the vacuum. I would recommend, you know, obviously doing your own research, but it worked great for me. So that's how I cleaned my Dyson vacuum. And hopefully that helps you guys. I know there's a ton of videos on YouTube of like how to do it. Mine's not the best by any means, but hey, this is how your girl did it. So hopefully that inspires you to do it for yourself. And I'm about to show you my Bissell Crossway parts. I just rinse them out in the sink with hot water and dish soap and then I let them air dry. I had filmed the clip of me washing them in the garage sink, but the garage sink is so nasty, I was embarrassed to show you. So it's gonna kind of just go into those clips of me cleaning. Okay, I've been dumping this outside in the grass because my husband does not like me to dump it in the toilet because of the hair. I still do sometimes, but don't tell him. Um, oh God, you guys be so glad we don't have smell vision because it smells as bad as it smells actually worse than it looks. I don't even know. Like, is this, am I going to get yelled at for dumping this in the yard? Is somebody going to be mad at me for this too? I bet I will. Somebody's going to be mad at me in the comments for doing this and say I'm nasty. I don't know where to put it. You guys, I don't know where to put it. Look at that. That's all dog hair. I have to touch it. Oh my god. Okay, I have to hold my nose. Oh, I really don't want to touch it, y'all. Oh, it's not coming out. Oh. Okay. Oh god. Please get off of there. Please get off. Please. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Okay. It's not coming off. And I don't want to touch it. So I think I'm just going to have to man up. Oh, come on. Okay. Okay. The worst part is over. Okay, I'm gonna just set all of these pieces out here to dry now that I've washed them. Make sure the water's out. I'm gonna let them dry out here and air out this filter. I really need to replace this. Like, those get nasty really fast. I'm pretty sure you could probably buy replacements on Amazon. Sometimes I'll soak it in bleach, but it's honestly beyond any help but I'm gonna let everything set out here and air dry and then it'll be ready for me to use tomorrow. Wish I could say I was finally over you but that's not the truth Everyone always keep falling in love again What's wrong with them? I don't understand Maybe it will pass by someone save me For I pass out, I'm too lonely To be done, I'm a drink at this page
wanna be someone else I would And like all of you mm -mm. I know that I'm obvious Forget I'm made this way But why didn't I stay When I had the chance Maybe it will pass by Someone save me for a pass out I'm too lonely to be done in my drink at this page I could say I was finally over you But that's not the truth mm -mm. Okay, I let that whole entire song play without talking because I was really feeling that song. So I actually played it at the end of this video as well for you guys if you want to leave it up to listen to while you're cleaning. I know a lot of you clean along with me, so I did end up doing it again at the end of the video for you. I don't know what it is about that song. I love Loving Caliber, their music. I wish they would come out with more because I always tend to lean towards their music. I just think it's so good and we're limited on what we can choose. I wish I could use regular music here. My videos would be 10 times better, I promise you, because I think I have really good taste in music, but we have to use non-copyrighted music. So it, we're really limited on what we can use and I have to pay for it. So it's hard for me to find good songs. So when I find a good song, I'm gonna let y'all know. And I'm just using my Jaws multi-purpose cleaner here. It works great on my stainless steel. The only thing I will say, the Wayman's stainless steel cleaner is my favorite because it cleans it, polishes it, and then I swear it helps to repel those fingerprints for days. But the Jaws does a really good quick cleanup. It does clean up everything on it, fingerprints and all that. The only thing is, is that it doesn't prevent fingerprints. Like, it'll get dirty right away afterwards. So... You know, it's kind of like, it is what it is. But for a quick cleanup, I love it for the stainless. But I love using my Jaws cleaners, especially the multi-purpose one on like everything. I have went through, this is I think my fourth or fifth bottle of the multi-purpose because I use it every day, several times a day. Um, I do have a coupon code for you guys. They actually give me 25% off and this comes out to be really, really inexpensive. I love the fact that you get the bottle and then you get the little refill pod. So it's space saving, but it's also eco-friendly and all of their products are non-toxic. So they're safe to use around babies and pets and kids and all of that, but they work really, really well. And I am not sponsored by them at all, I promise you. So um, I will have that information linked for you guys in the description box. I'm sorry for making you feel like you're not good enough. I'm sorry.
for my sink, I'm gonna be using the soft scrub, the garbage disposal cleaner, and the Dawn Power Wash. I ended up not using that soft scrub because it was old and it was like chunky and it wouldn't come out. So I'm gonna show you next what I did end up using. I've been going out on my head For someone to give me help all I'm so that one is actually my favorite, the one with Oxy. It smells amazing. If you've never tried it, take my word for it, try it. You can use it in your toilet. You can use it um, in your sink. I don't know. If you guys use it, where else do you use soft scrub? Let me know. That would be an interesting question. Those are the spaces that I use it, but I would love to know if you use it on anything else. All in your way, say all the things that you say. To breathe, yeah, I need that. Take it all in now. I see what I'm asking for is just some space and some time, then I'll be alright. I've been having thoughts in my mind, I can't get up. Tell me things I can't say myself. So I did a video a couple of weeks ago on this shark steam and scrub steam mop. I reviewed it 
in its entirety. So definitely look for that video if you want to know more information about it. But I'm using it again today. I've been using it. I really do like it. I would recommend it. I think it's a great price point. You can find it on sale. Um, and basically... It just has these two pads on it that rotate and it kind of almost drives itself. So the main thing for me is that it's really easy on my back because I don't have to push and scrub and really use elbow grease because it does all of that for me. So if you have a bad back, it's great for that. But it just, I feel like it's just that one little extra thing that helps to just really polish and not really polish your floors, but like scrub them and like really get any dirt and debris, not just kind of move stuff around, but like really scrub it up. I really like the LED lights on it. The cord is super long, so I like that. You do have to fill up the water tank. It does go through the water tank pretty fast. I did have to fill it up a couple of times to do like my entire downstairs, but my entire downstairs of my home is very big. So just for my kitchen, I only needed one tank. But it does a really good job. So I do really like the steam mop and it does have Keep Calm and Clean's seal of approval. done with the cleaning portion of today's video we're going to move into my new crock pot I'm going to share that with you guys and then I'm going to make a delicious and super easy crock pot meal so don't click out yet stay tuned for that you're not going to want to miss it I want you to show me what you feel you're watching me like you want me but you're still holding back still holding back honestly Hey guys, I just got this in the mail. FedEx just delivered it and I am so excited about this. So I've been wanting a new crock pot. I wanted one that was where you could do the timer and I wanted one that was like a more neutral color. So I got this one from Bed Bath & Beyond. Um, my friend Katie shared it on Instagram and when I saw hers, I was like, okay, that's the one for me. So it was on sale as well, and I used my 20% off coupon too. And it comes with this. I don't know exactly what I'm going to use this for, but I wanted to show you guys. I'm going to take it out of the box and look at it. I'll show you, and I'm not going to cook today because I think we're going to go out to eat, but I will cook something in this this week. I know, buddy. He is so fussy. Um, and when I do, I will share that recipe. It will be in this video, so stay tuned for that. So I will have this crock pot linked for you below. I got it from Bed Bath & Beyond. Make sure you try and find that 20% coupon because they almost always have it. I just loved the colors of this. I thought it was so beautiful, so I had to have it. And I really, really, really like it. Okay, so for this recipe, we're gonna be making chicken and dumplings in the crock pot. You're just gonna need some chicken breast. You're gonna need chicken broth. 
And I like this family size can of cream of chicken. I feel like it's the perfect amount. And I also like to use the slow cooker liners. You don't have to. And then I just use garlic powder, pepper, parsley, and onion powders. So our onion powder, not onion powders. <laughs> I am super fancy and you will figure that out if you follow me. Like my cooking tutorials are the best on YouTube. Very detailed, very fancy, very easy to follow along. If you didn't catch that sarcasm, you will totally understand that I am joking here in a minute because I am like so all over the place when it comes to cooking. So anyways, you're going to go ahead and put your chicken in and then add about three cups of chicken broth. And I had just enough. And then you see, I was kind of distracted on this day. Normally I would season my chicken and then do the wet ingredients, but it's okay because honestly, you cannot mess up this recipe. That's how easy it is. And that's what I like. I'm all about easy because if it's not easy, I'm probably going to mess it up. So I just put the chicken broth in and then I did all of my seasonings. It really doesn't matter what order you go in. It all worked out in the end. And then I'm just going to mix that all up together and I'm going to go ahead and put the lid on. And depending on how much time, like if you need to go out of the home for today, you're going to want to put this on low. If you're putting this in at one o'clock like I was and you want dinner to be ready about five or six, you want to maybe put it on high. So that really just depends like how long do you need this to cook for or how long do you have for it to cook. And then you're just going to take a can of biscuits and I take a pizza cutter like this and just do this. Now, this is not my recipe. This is my friend Carla McKenzie's recipe. I will have her channel linked for you guys in the description box. She does all kinds of these videos. I love following along her cooking tutorials because she does really simple, easy, delicious meals that the whole family will love. And that's what I'm about. So this is her recipe, not mine. She needs all the credit. So she just takes the pizza cutter and cuts up the biscuits like that. And it's super easy then I just put them in like this. I don't stir them up in there or anything. I just lay them in there. And then at this point, you're going to want to put this in about an hour before you want to serve dinner. So you're going to put those in, put the lid back on. You're going to want to turn your crock pot, crock pot on high and then set a timer for one hour because that's about how long it'll take for those biscuits to cook. Okay, so it has been an hour and now I'm just going to stir those biscuits and get them coated with all of the seasonings and that soup that's in there. Now, Mackenzie does shred her chicken before she puts the biscuits in, but like I said, not the best cook over here. Kind of forgot to do that if I'm being honest, but that just goes to show that you do not have to be like perfect. I made a mistake and it all worked out in the end. So I'm just kind of shredding that chicken now and it was totally fine. So I served this up with a Hawaiian roll and some green beans. I just put some bit butter, bacon bits, salt, pepper, and garlic powder in my green beans, and they are amazing. This was such a good meal and so easy to make. Thank you guys so much for watching. Stay tuned for some clips from some other content from me if you are interested. Check the description box for links to everything mentioned, and I will see you guys next Monday. Everyone always keep falling in love again What's wrong with them? I don't understand Maybe it will pass by Someone save me for a pass out I'm too lonely to be done I'm a drink at this page to be someone else I would and like all of you mm -mm. I know that I'm obvious but I made this way but why didn't I stay when I had the chance maybe it will pass by someone save me for a pass out I'm too lonely to be done in my drink at this pace
I could say I was finally over you, but that's not the truth. Mm -hmm. 